All right, so we got all these bearings laid out here. Um, we have the rear, front, front, and old bearings. That's why I had to film it the way I'm doing it. But if y'all want to get a hold of these bearing kits before I review them here, check out the links in the description. I'll link to them down there. Um, you know, I'm going to say they were like 30 to $40 for uh, all of this stuff, for all the bearings and the seals. So that's really good value because just one of these bearings is like 10 bucks a piece, um, you know, from Koyo or any of those type of places. These were originally Koyo bearings. So they don't come pre-covered in grease like this, all this red grease on here. That's my doing. But um, here's the rear, front, front. So we have four bearings for the rear here, two oil seals. There's an extra seal in there because I ordered an extra one for the diff. But I... um. Two oil seals, two oil seals, two bearings, two bearings. So it's like eight bearings in total. And then here's the old ones. So my thing with this is they don't put enough grease in the bearings. That's why these are covered in red stuff. So I pop the covers off and get in there and put some more grease in there because the amount of grease they put in there is for like an electric motor or something. It's for something that's spinning fast like that. It's not for like a wheel bearing like this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop the cover off of this here in a second and show y'all. But uh, just to show y'all the quality of these real quick. All right, so here's an oil seal. It looks like an oil seal. It's, it's perfectly fine, honestly, for what it is. It's just a good oil seal. I mean, it was like two bucks and it's going to last, it looks like. Here's the bearing. Um, I'm about to pop it open here, but it looks good. It feels good. Everything feels fine about it. This isn't, these are, this is, these are high quality bearings. This isn't like, you know, uh, eBay, China, 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 cheap, China, 25 cent bearing, you know, a piece bearing. They're, uh, they look to be decent here. I mean, all the aftermarket parts are Chinese bearings anyways. So, you know, you're looking at 10 bucks a piece, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80 bucks in bearings plus all the OEM. You're looking at 200 bucks to to redo all this stuff versus like 30. You know, with OEM parts, it's like 200. I'm babbling. Here's the the front. Comes with two oil seals. Um, all right, so here's the original bearings here. Um, this is a Koyo Romanian bearing, but you can see there's no grease in them. The guy thought this thing was a boat and uh, yeah, the seals were blown on these, the seals were blown on the axle shafts, everything. So I'm going to pack more grease in these bearings because the little amount of grease, they, that's what I've already done to all of these. I'm going to show you on this one. But the tiny amount of grease they put in these is like for an electric motor. Like I said, it's ridiculous. So I'm popping the cover. Let's see how much grease is in here. Yeah, so just get the tip of your pick in there and uh, pry it up. And then pop it out do it on the outside not the inside you'll mess it up but you can see there's no grease in this thing there's nothing in there and uh, for a wheel bearing you know that's unacceptable I'm gonna pop the other side let's see how much is in there all right so here's the other side and uh, yeah I don't know I've read that uh, wheel bearings or excuse me ball bearings are designed to have you know a third to a half full of grease I say that's a quarter full, but I'm gonna pack the whole thing full. You know what? Because I've never taken apart a bearing, a wheel bearing, and said, huh, that broke because it had too much grease in it. Oh, that that failed because there was too much grease in that. I have never, how many times have you taken apart a wheel bearing and said that? So um, the seals, we just lay them to the side here and we're gonna pack some more grease in here. Now, some guys get really picky and they'll like clean out all this grease, soak it in ass, brake cleaner and stuff. That's the proper, proper way to do it. I did it on one and yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna pack it with grease. So go ahead and flame me in the comments. I don't care, I got stuff to do today. I need this thing done. Um, I'm tired of tripping over parts here. So we're just gonna pack it with grease. All right, so here's the wheel bearing before. We're gonna pack it full of grease. Here's the grease I'm using, Lucas Red and Tacky. Um, it works fine for wheel bearings. I've used it for years, so that's what I'm going to use. Just like this.
as long as you don't put a stupid stupid amount in there to where it pops out the oil seal like that and just keep going like that like that's too much but we're gonna get it in between all these cracks and then we're gonna wipe the excess off so i'll be back here in a second all right so i feel like that's pretty good uh you know it's not busting out the seams it's it's you know i'd say it's it's pretty full so uh, like I said, for an uh, electric motor or something, that amount of grease in there, I guess they just wanted to disperse throughout the whole thing and just like, you know, coat it in a light film of oil or something. Well, I don't, I haven't calculated how many RPMs the wheels spin at. I'm not really interested in wasting time doing that. It's a four wheeler. But uh, put some more grease in the wheel bearings. They don't put enough in them. Like, honestly. Most of that stuff washes out anyways. If you pack these things full of grease, they prevent water from getting in there. And just don't go crazy with it. Just put more in it. So to pop these seals back in, we're just gonna Just like that and pop them all the way back in all right so now we got our bearings taken care of 